Today, I have the honor to have a guest in my YouTube channel, Arianna from The Vegan Choice. Hi guys. Um, so, um, Arianna and I met on Instagram actually, because uh, she has a blog uh, about yeah, veganism and minimalism. Very interesting, I'll link it below. But her um, full time job is actually very similar to mine. She's a marketeer as well, but she's <laughs> self employed. Uh, so we thought about doing this video in which we will answer five questions that um, are especially targeted for people who want to start uh, a career in marketing or are just interested in marketing and at the same time we will combine a little bit of info about our own background and our experiences. So we hope you will enjoy and let's get started with the first question. So I got in touch, let's say, with the marketing world in a very random and weird way. So I was choosing uh, my uni course and I had like this booklet of all the courses possible that you can like do at uni. And I opened the book, honestly, I opened the book and the, the course that came out was business with management and marketing. It was like, and then I read the description and I was like, oh, this sounds really cool and something that could combine my personality as well. And then from there, I just started like looking more in depth about what it was. I went to a fair where a lot of uni were, where I actually discovered my uni abroad. So yeah, like my first meeting with marketing was random, sent it from the best universe. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my experience is kind of similar but less magical <laughs> uh, because um, my parents are both, both doctors and uh, I really didn't want to study medicine. So I wanted to study in the University of Bologna because it's one of the oldest one of Italy. And uh, I basically went on the website and say I don't want to be a doctor, I don't want to be an engineer, I don't want to be a lawyer. So there was just like economy. And uh, the branch that was most interesting to me was uh, economy and marketing because I thought, okay, I don't really know what I want to do in the future. So marketing, I think it's the most flexible subject that you can apply to every kind of field then. So yeah, true. I, I tried and it was totally different from what I expected. Um, so after I, I study economy and marketing, I end up not having any knowledge of marketing at all because it was more economy than marketing. Uh, so basically I learned everything about marketing and digital marketing, especially during my first job that was in a startup in Corsica, the island of France, and it was very, a very, very good experience for me. I learned a lot and uh, yeah, every, all my knowledge come to self-taught yeah, self -taught self -taught. and um, practical experience. Yeah, <laughs> practical experience. Uh, mine is kind of uh, different because, as I said before, I, I, I've actually studied marketing. My course was named Business Management Across Europe with Marketing. So I studied, um, I have a bachelor in marketing and then I did an internship in marketing at uni. I opened my blog and stuff and then now I work for a company and I'm in the marketing department. So I had both academic academic background and practical background. Um, so for me, uh, the skills that I have that I think is the most important for what I do is uh, empathy. Okay. Um, because it enables me to understand what the clients uh, want from the product, what the clients expect, and which is the better way to communicate the product of the company that I'm uh, taking care of. So, yeah, for me, really, um, the, digi the digital marketing, it's very focused on the customer more than the, the company. 
uh, so yeah this quality of mind I think it's very important and uh, it's something that if you don't have you can still like um, improve it so you can work on it yeah true I think mine is um, a combination of two skills so um, making sure to combine your analytical skills and creative skills because they are both equally important um, creative is based on analytics so a marketer needs to have the good balance between the two because if you ha you're too analytic then you probably won't last from marketing. Yeah, creative. lack of creative and then if you're too creative then you don't have a base on yeah. in which you can base all your like uh, ideas and stuff. So it's very difficult and that's why sometimes like working in a team is very good because there might be a person that is more into analytics, others that are into creatives, but I think that you had the ex you have the experience yeah. in which you gotta combine both of that yeah. by yourself and you can notice in which projects one prevails the Yeah, most. it's always better at both the feature because even if you end up working just in the creative department, having the knowledge about uh, how important the, the data are, yeah, it's yeah. like basic because exactly. you cannot uh, create a good advertising campaign, a good like strategy, communication strategy, if you don't have the data to understand which is your goal. Yes, yes. So a little specification here, um, if you are a follower of mine since a while you know that I'm Italian but I live in London while Arianna is Italian, Italian and she lives in Italy <laughs> so uh, that's why we thought this would have been an interesting question because we you can like listen to the reaction that the two different countries have. Yeah. So how do they react in Italy? Uh, so <laughs> I live uh, in... It's not really a small city, but it's not, it's not Milan, let's say, yeah. let's okay. say like this. And uh, in my city, they don't really know what marketing is. <laughs> so uh, even working there for me, it's really like tough because I always have to explain why it's important to do marketing and why, why I do what I do and what is it. It's not just posting on Instagram, it's much more. So. Uh, the reaction, I cannot say I'm a marketer because they will not understand and uh, it's difficult because being a marketer it means do a lot of yeah, different lot stuff. Of so yeah. um, I just try according to the person to, to say what I think the person will be able to understand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's very difficult yeah. to... Um, to explain what we Yeah, do. I find this reaction when I come home as well, like when I meet pe new people, it's often, maybe we, among young people now, yeah. it's more common, but uh, like already like the age of our parents, probably they don't really know. No. Well, in London, um, it's pretty known what a, who a marketeer is and what it does, so the immediate like second question they ask you is oh in which department like for which industry uh, what type of marketing do you do so it's it's actually a profession that is very common and um, the branches of marketing are getting more and more so actually saying you're a marketeer doesn't really mean a lot anymore started in, um, in marketing and especially in digital marketing I suggest you to try uh, every strategy that you come across to on the books or on blogs and everything on your own skin because um, that is how you learn that is how you understand deeply how it works so open a blog open a YouTube uh, account open like a Facebook page on Instagram yeah, profile, whatever it gets started and yeah and try try everything on your own skin and try to understand like what it works for the different platform because theory it's super important but it's not enough because yeah. Um, it's like it's a practical field, so you need to you need to put your hands in the yeah totally. in the law, how you how we say it yeah in totally <laughs> agree. Uh, my suggestion would be meet people, 
go out there if there's an event that is related to marketing or advertising or whatever go or if you know a person that mm, works in marketing or has a background related to that go and ask them about their experience what did they do because most of the marketeers out there actually do not have a more uh, background related to marketing so it's very interesting to know okay so how did you came across marketing starting your career in I don't know geography because that happened to me uh, so um, it's very very important to understand each like person's path and what they specified in and why because then you might come across interesting prompts that could incentive you to like go in depth more like books or courses or classes they took and yeah it's, it's a good kickstarter and definitely another good way to network and meet new yeah. people and even if you don't live like in london where i think it's a bit more easier to come across yeah. all these people. Uh, even for me, like I'm at Lisa on Instagram and she said yeah. before, so don't be afraid even to get in contact with people online uh, yeah. because sometimes like if you live in Italy or in a smaller country, it's difficult to find around you in your own city some uh, events or people who yeah. does the same things as you do or are interested in the same field. So go online. Uh, and take advantage of like of this tool that really exactly this powerful tool that we are lucky yeah. to have these days so definitely this were our five answers to the question related to our experience in marketing and uh, for anyone who would like to start uh, something in the marketing world so thank you very much for tuning in. I'll link below social media of Arianna and her blog, her great blog. Uh, um, and yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. And if you liked the video, remember to share. You never know if out there there's someone that just like you and me want to find and market their key to success. Thank you. See you next time.